Hello and welcome to a new episode of Sound Design. Today we're going to be creating the lead from uh, Bad by David Showtech and uh, David Greta and Showtech, not David Showtech. But um, it's going to be similar to the the Raise Your Hands lead and the Showtech We Like to Party lead. Um, the thing that makes these leads a little bit more um, different is that they utilize a band pass and some LFO modulation to the pitch. So that's the key thing when creating these type of sounds. And that's how you get the David Greta. And also putting the mono legato on, which a lot of people forget, and they don't end up getting the sound. And it's just a little thing that you can do here. So let's get started. So first thing we do is bump polyphony up to six because we're going to need it. Um, let's just do it up to fucking Leave it at four, honestly. You don't really need um, a lot of polyphony because we have it in mono. So, oscillator A1, we are going to put um, eight voices with retrig on. We're not going to touch anything. We're going to put the volume at nine o'clock and we're going to detune it by 3.90. Remember, detunement, when you have eight voices in a saw, you open, um, you have eight saws coming out and then you open it up when you detune. So, yeah, and someone just tried to come into my room. So, fuck. Um, so, um, amp envelope A, we're going to have decay all the way up, sustain all the way up, and we're going to have release at 1.95, and the attack is going to be all the way down, so it's going to be fast, and come out instantly as soon as you press key. Hope, hopefully you don't have latency. Um, I'll say day two, we are going to have the volume all the way up, eight voices, saw again, with the retrig on, but we're not going to detune or phase, so it's going to remain by default like this. Now, here's the important part. We're going to be putting a bandpass filter, which is a mixture of a low and a high, in my opinion, and they come together in the middle, and it's it's very unique because you can get certain sounds, like let's say you just want the higher frequencies of a sound, you use the bandpass and so forth. So it gives you some really nice sounds. I know a lot of Dutch producers used it back in the day, and it's still very popular to this day. So we have band pass, cutoff is to 502.07 or um, 2 o'clock. Resonance a little bit after 9 or 2.19. And then drive is 3.52 at 11. Drive's just going to increase the volume. And we have it as a 12 dB type filter. Our filter control is going to be our master control, which controls filter A and B. So I, I believe the way it works is f the, um, the sound goes through filter A and then filter B and then it goes through filter control. Um, or it might be another way. But filter control, we're going to have a cutoff at 49.06 hertz with the resonance at 3.14. Key track at 1.29 with the warm drive on. Um, a key track is weird. Um, I know when you add it on, the lower you go or the higher, the more the filter opens up just to let some of the sound out if you have your filter covered all the way. So it's just something that they, um, that they have there. Okay, so now we're going to Part B where we are going to be having some simple programming. We're going to have eight voices. Um, for the oscillator B1 with the saw retrig on again, no detunement, no phase, and volume is going to be lowered to 2.05 again. And next we're going to amp envelope B where we're going to put our release at 0 0.75, attack all the way down, decay all the way up, and sustain all the way up. Um, so let's put these down actually, the decays, because we don't really need them. And now we're going to oscillator B2. And we're going to be putting eight voices with saw, and the retrig is off, so it's going to have more of a stereo feel to it. Volume all the way up, and we're detuning this one by 4.52. So once we have that, we're going to go to filter B, not do anything. I don't even know why this is here. Whatever. And then uh, finally, we're going to go into mod envelope two, where we're going to put a pitch AB, and I put this on my um my um on my Twitter. Like if you ever want like the key to making big room sounds, it's always doing this. Every big room sound I make has this modulation and it's there for a reason. It makes the sound really punchy. So we're gonna lower it to snare 0.29 with a decay of 1.49. And next we are gonna go into LFO2, which is another important part. And we are gonna do this at a rate of one over four. Let's try this. So four over one over deep. Pitch A is 0.10, and the gain we're going to increase it by a tiny bit to 0 0.05. There. And there we got it. And no offset, and pretty much just right it to pitch A, which is going to be part A. And next, we're just going to put the mix A all the way up, and then we mix B down there. We're going to go into the distortion section where we're going to have a foldback type distortion. Let's put the drive with it. 100 and lower the amount to um, let's see there it's very pro better programming um so yeah fullback type distortion works well with sauce just a quick tip dry and wet all the way up and the amount is at 0 0.90 and distortion just lowers bit rate and then kind of um i guess you can call them shape they shape certain waves into different things um 
So next we're going to a phaser where we're going to be putting a phase at 23%. Center frequency is at 5. The spread's at 5. LR offset straight ahead. Width all the way up. No LFO rate, no LFO gain, and no feedback. Just 5.71 for feedback here. And um, LFO rate all the way down. Sorry about that. One pole EQ, we're going to lower base um, by 2.86 dB. As soon as you put the um, EQ on in silent 1, what it does is it boosts these frequencies that are set by default when they're straight at dead o'clock i think it's at 3500 and at 115 and it just boosts them by a total value of um i believe it's 7.5 so you want to lower them or increase it's all up to you so our eq base is um decreased um down to 2.86 from 7.5 at the frequency of 101.62 so it's still getting boosted but it's not getting boosted by that much um eq troubles at 13.36 db at the frequency of 42.90.93 Next, we're going to the delay, and this is just a technique um, to make the sound sound a little bit more wider. So we're going to have our delay time to the left 1 over 8, delay time to the right 1 4. And you want your dry and wet at 22.38%. And next, finally, we're going to reverb. We're going to increase the size to 12 o'clock. The size is going to decide how big your reverb is. We have a pre-delay at 50.48 milliseconds, and pre-delay is going to decide how long it takes for the reverb to kick in. So um, the higher the pre-delay, you press a note, you're going to hear the reverb come afterwards. But if you have it all the way down, you're going to hear the reverb exactly with the noise, so with the sound. So if you want your reverb to be on top with your sound, then your pre-delay should be down. Dampness 2.38 and width all the way up. Dry and wet at 42.54%. Last thing to do is put the mono legato on. And we're going to put the normal mode. And we're going to put the portamento at 6.86. And we are going to get the sound. <laughs> So this is going to be your top layer for this sound. In order to get that full effect, is you're going to have to layer with some super saws. And the reason I just create the top layer is because there's so many super saws you can use Nexus to layer and all this shit. So um, this is the top layer, and you want this to kind of be more present than your other stuff. So hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. I hope you guys enjoy the sound, and I'll see you guys next time.